Now let us solve one problem uh, based on case 3C. Um, let's take a minute to read the problem statement and then we'll start solving it. Okay, so as you see, um, this is the same problem G2 that we solved before, but there is one important difference that uh, the distribution of capacity which was normal with mean 100 kilonewtons and COV of 10% is now the initial capacity and there is the aging function uh, exponential minus T over 100. Uh, so it starts this uh, d of of, ta of of t, this aging function starts uh, at 1 and then falls off. In fact, we'll see that this is quite a severe aging and uh, at the end of uh, 60 years, uh, which is the life specified, uh, the uh, mean strength falls almost to 55% of the original value. Uh, so. Uh, this is how we are going to solve this. As we saw in the previous slide uh, that um, the R function, the reliability function is an expectation um, with respect to the initial capacity C0. Uh, the expectation uh, is of an exponential function where we have the aging function uh, in the kernel of an integration. So uh, that is extra. Uh, earlier when we had case 3b uh, it was exponential minus lambda t times 1 minus CDF. Now we have the area under the CDF and normalized by the length of the window uh, in time. So uh, since we are asked to find the hazard function uh, we also would need the PDF uh, either analytically uh, or numerically. So uh, here is a rather long expression for the PDF uh, which is the negative of the derivative of R. Uh, here uh, if you go through the steps carefully uh, what I have done is I have differentiated under the integral sign. So that's how the long expression comes. Uh, but uh, we can estimate R and F this way by generating uh, samples of C0 and if we do that enough number of times uh, we can estimate both uh, R of T and uh, H of T, H being the hazard function. Uh, so before we present the results let's try to get a pictorial sense of what's happening with the loads and the strength. Uh, so uh, this is just one, one realization of the process. Uh, the, the blue line uh, at the top uh, is the strength which is deteriorating as a function of time. So this particular realization of the strength started at somewhere around 122 or something. Uh, and then dropped off to something like 68 or something. Uh, so uh, and, and the red uh, lines that you see, the red vertical lines, they are the randomly occurring loads. So these loads occur according to a uh, Parson process uh, with mean 12, uh, with, with rate 12 per year. Uh, that's why you see so many of them uh, and the heights of those red lines are Gumbel distributed with a mean of 30 kN. Uh, so it's quite interesting to see that in this particular realization of the load process and the strength process uh, we have 
one clearly one failure occurring somewhere around 40 years of age so if we were finding the time to failure the random time to failure from this realization we would report that the TTF is 40 years uh, and this is also an interesting case of the definition of the first passage uh, you see if we allowed the process to continue uh, then we would have another failure around 55 years of age. Let's say that uh, that red line just breaches the, the blue line. Uh, but obviously that would not matter in uh, defining the first passage time because a failure has already happened and that's, that's the end. Uh, so we wouldn't even continue the simulations. Uh, so if we do this repeatedly, then we actually are going to uh, estimate the the R function and the H function. Uh, we uh, we and because in this very special case we have just one random variable C zero uh, over which we are taking the expectation. Uh, we could keep C zero in the outer loop and uh, let t vary from zero to sixty, and thereby get a smooth estimate of R and t uh, of R and H. So let's see how. Uh, how the code looks like, just that Im important part of the code. Uh, the code is basically the same as in case 3b where there was no aging. So I have just uh, uh, looked, I have just copied that part of the code which is going to change. So uh, if you look at, uh, if you look at uh, the line uh, where uh, we compute reliability as uh, the exponential of minus lambda t f bar, f bar being 1 minus CDF uh, of the load, uh, then that's what's going to be enhanced in case 3c. So in case 3c, uh, that single line has been, uh, has been replaced by, uh, that f bar computation has been replaced by an integration uh, of um, uh, of the fq evaluated at c d tau and the integration is over uh, 0 to t. So uh, that, that red box uh, has the extra lines which is required uh, to take aging into effect. So if you do this enough number of times uh, we are going to um, get the reliability function uh, and the hazard function and let's see what it looks like uh, and this again is quite severe aging and uh, it should not be a surprise to see that for this particular structure the reliability almost falls to zero obviously it's not a not a real situation uh, no one would probably build such a structure uh, but if it was so uh, then uh, we have the reliability uh, becoming very soon very unacceptable. Uh, the hazard function uh, can be uh, computed and uh, it starts from something like um, 0 0.01 roughly uh, or 0 0.007 I believe and then it keeps climbing. Uh, if you remember in case 3b, we had a hazard function that was going down. Uh, we no longer have that luxury. Uh, now let's, let's compare these results uh, with uh, some of the, uh, if, if aging was different. So here uh, aging is given by exponential minus tau over 100 when tau is in years. Uh, so let's see if we uh, have a less severe aging. Uh, in the form of uh, exponential minus tau over 1000. So it's a much more benign aging situation. And uh, if we plot the reliability function, we are pretty close to what we had in the no aging case. Uh, the, at the end of 60 years, the reliability uh, is close to 70%. Uh, in case 3b, we had something like 72%. Uh, and the hazard function, uh, does something interesting. The hazard function initially drops, so there is a decreasing failure rate, 
and then somewhere around 10 or uh, around 15 years of age uh, it reverses course and the effect of proof loading that was being caused by heavy trucks now is completely overtaken by the aging process so uh, after about 15 years or so uh, the hazard function keeps climbing and just for completeness i've been talking about case uh, 3b uh, example g2 and if we replace d of tau with one identically then we get back our earlier case and we have in fact the decreasing hazard function that we have already discussed.